Raiders from YouTube. Hello and welcome to Minecraft vs. The Greer. It is the night. I am in a short in a skinny tower waiting out the night. And while we wait for we for me to wait out the night, I'm gonna talk to you about my theory about the Mario universe. And it's kind of bizarre. But I figured you probably don't want to hear more about the world of Balinthos for a little while, so I'm going to give you a break from that. So, the world of Mario. First of all, we need to figure out what, who exactly is Mario? I mean, he's a plumber, but then why does he have five lives at the start of every game? What plumber has five lives at the start of every game? It's almost like it's magic. So he's a wizard. Mario is a wizard, who also happens to be a plumber, but he's a wizard. And going off of what we see in the new Super Mario Brothers Wii series during multiplayer, his other lives are actually other bodies. So he dies, and then another him comes from off screen. So probably he's found some sort of spell that allows his mind to steal other people's bodies. And then the question comes up. How does he get more lives? Well, simple. You would need more bodies. But then what does that mean about the green mushroom? Somehow the green mushroom gives him another body. What if Mario was actually a special form of mushroom that looked like a person? Kind of like HP Lovecraft's Mego, but more person-like. I mean, we have the toads. The toads are already anthropomorphic. Fungi. So why don't we just add another one? Mario. Now we come to the question of how that applies to the power-ups that aren't one-ups. Well, mushrooms in general are less strict about body type and stuff. So it would be conceivable for two mushrooms growing side by side to kind of fuse. So I think instead of eating the mushroom that makes him big, he actually just kind of sticks it on his head, and they fuse together into a bigger Mario. Okay. So we now know that the green mushroom and the red mushroom and Mario all are the same, are all the same species. But I think we can go further. We have from the DS version the jumbo mushroom or whatever that allows him to just completely destroy the field. Also, same species. Or at least effectively the same species. And then we have the toads. What are the toads in relation to all of this? Well, if you can bring a toad 
in Mario, in New Super Mario Brothers Wii. If we can bring a toad to the end of the level, and he's unharmed, you get three one-ups. Which means somehow, Big Toad gives you three little Mario bodies. There's a way to do that. Chop them up. Chop, chop, chop. Mushrooms can get can survive getting chopped up. And thus, Little Toad gives you only one. Because he's already little. That also means that Luigi and all the other toads are all pretty much the same species of fungus that happens to look rather person-like. And thus, it wouldn't be illogical to think the toad, or that Princess Peach, is also a mushroom. Which would explain why the ruler of a kingdom filled with mushrooms that is called the Mushroom Kingdom is ruled by a human or at least a human looking thing and the answer is it's not a human it's just a human looking mushroom and is it day? do I get to do things again? Without fear of death, it is day. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get down. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Let's try that again, but lower. There we go. Just slowly make a way. Ah! No, not over there. Why would I want to be pointing over there? I mean, there's some cool stuff over there, but still. Ugh. Oh, I fell. Oh well. So apparently that was a bigger fall than I thought. Oh well. Get up there. I suppose we can have the stairs start off in this direction.
Okay. Where is the gravel? Let's get rid of the gravel. There we go. Used all of the gravel. Ah! My tower. You know what? I kind of want to have a three by three step. Wool, I haven't figured out anything useful to do with wool yet. Or any of the other strange types of stone. Will probably be something later on, but right now I don't know what it would be. Two. Okay. Uh, merely falling off the thing. Okay, switching to granite. Is granite actually brown? I always thought granite was gray. That is a question I'm, I actually want you guys to answer for me. That was ominous sounding. There's someone knocking at the door. I'm pausing the game. I'll be back soon.